What did you make of Mr. Metcalf when you first met him? He was okay, but once I realised what he was really like, well, let's just say I had a very low opinion of him. So it's fair to say you formed a negative opinion of him almost immediately? Well, my grand changed right before my very eyes. Suddenly she was timid, like a mouse. A mouse who stabbed someone with a bottle. Odd analogy, isn't it? Well, he took all her freedoms away from her. Like her bank cards, her passwords. He put his name on everything that was hers. The house, Gran's business. Do you normally make quick judgments about people? No. But then again, I don't normally have to call the police to get background checks on them because of how they're controlling my Gran. That has nothing to do with the night in question. Isn't it right you always had it in for him? He's evil. Must have been tough for you after your father's death. You're all on your own. And suddenly, well, would it be fair to say you were no longer centre of attention? That has nothing to do with... Second best. This isn't about me. If she was going out with a decent bloke, I'd be over the moon. And she'd be attacking him, some might say. I think that'd be a fair enough assumption, don't you? No. <laughs> because the problem here is that, interesting and provocative as your claims might be, and you're bandying about of words like evil, fine, great, fill your boots. But at the end of the day, you weren't there on the night of the attack, were you? So you can't help the jury with what happened or why. You saw Mr. Metcalf burning all her worldly goods on the bonfire. Yes, absolutely. It was very upsetting, actually. And what possessions of Yasmin's did you actually see burning on the famous bonfire? Describe what you could see. Well, I didn't actually see anything because it was in a bin with tall sides yet you somehow magically knew what was inside. Can you see through solid walls? No, of course not, but... The fumes, they weren't noxious. Like he was burning something that he shouldn't have been. Are you a scientist, Mrs Metcalf? Well, I did do chemistry at school. Then how do you know it contained all of Mrs Metcalf's things? Because she told me. Thank you. That will be all. Your Honor, I'm pleased to say that one of our original witnesses now feels able to give evidence. The defense calls Elaine Jones. Ms. Jones, are you sure you're well enough to be here? I'm exactly where I need to be. We were married, me and Jeff. He was a real charmer at first. And then he changed. He controlled everything. He controlled me. Who I saw, nobody, where I went, wouldn't give me any money. He, he forced himself on me and gave me infections. Because it was off with prostitutes every weekend. And when I tried to walk out on him, he hit me. Well, that was the final straw. In the end, I, I, I did get away. But I had to leave my baby, Timothy. I tried to get him back, but Jeff said if I came anywhere near them, he'd 
kill Timothy. He'd kill our baby. I was so scared. This is why it was easier for me to just let people think I was dead. Can you tell us what happened in July of this year when you came to Weatherfield to seek out Mr. Metcalf? I, um... I read about the case in the paper. Yeah. I could not believe. All these years later, he was still making women's lives hell. And I wanted to see my son. A beautiful son. Uh, just thinking for a moment about Mr. Metcalf's behaviour towards you this year, has he ever threatened you? Yes. Yeah, he, he told me not to give evidence or else. And this was four months ago? Yeah, and more recently than that. This was, this was when I was in hospital last night. Ms Jones, I'd just like to get some context here, if I may. You said yourself that you have quite a history of mental health problems. Is, is that correct? Well... Yes or no, Ms Jones. Don't want to keep you any longer than necessary. Not in your condition. Well, yes. Thank you. And would you say... Because of Jeff Metcalf. Everything stems from him. When you've gone through these episodes of severe mental imbalance. I'm not stupid. Is it right to say sometimes you've imagined things that weren't there, that didn't actually happen? I didn't imagine Jeff turning up at the hospital last night and threatening me, if that's what you're implying. Do you have any proof he was there? Oh. Maybe this was yet another in a worryingly long line of paranoid delusions that you suffer from time to time. That's unfair. I haven't had any of that for years. I did not imagine it. Well, where are the nurses who saw him? The doctors, the, the, the cleaners, mm. the workers in the fast food concession as you enter Weatherfield, General? Your Honour, I would care to request an adjournment to retrieve the CCTV from the hospital. Your Honour, I object to that. I am happy for steps to be taken, for the material to be obtained. However, in my experience, these matters can take significant time, as the hospital will take advice on any such request for CCTV. As such, I am unwilling to adjourn the trial pending those investigations. Might I also question why, when you didn't know her from Adam, you chose to go and visit Yasmin Metcalf in prison earlier this year? Well... Are you still not over him? Jeff? Maybe you're still furious about your embittered breakup all these years later, that you track down his next alleged victim and seek her out. Well, at least you use the word victim. And together you cook up a little plan to discredit your ex? You know, even though you're a woman, you're very like him. Putting words into my mouth, telling me how I behave and how I feel. Well, like him, you're wrong. I believe that Yasmin was fearing for her life on the night of the attack, just as I've spent a lifetime living in fear of that man. But I'm not afraid anymore. So please, stop putting words into my mouth. We concocted nothing. We've simply told our truths. <sighs> There's really nothing more to be said. Well, Elaine was amazing, wasn't she? An inspiration. Me, on the other hand. No, Gran. You were great. They're gonna find in your favor. Elaine and I, we have our stories, nothing more. Jeff, the prosecution, they have the facts and the evidence. 
Gran. Anyway, it shouldn't be too long to wait now. We'll soon know. One way or the other. Maybe, maybe even tomorrow.